Markets are bracing for another worrisome 7 percent plus inflation number tomorrow. Most forecasters, though, are expecting inflation to cool later this year. Senior economics reporter Steve Leisman looks at the chances inflation could cool and the risks that it doesn't. Uh-oh, Steve. Good morning. Yeah, uh, Becky, bringing down high inflation is going to be about as complicated as one of those I know, combination quad axle triple toes that the uh, Olympic skaters have been doing. That is, it could happen, but it has to be perfectly executed, and there's a chance it could flop. Uh, take a look. Here's the scorecard of what several forecasters say has to happen to execute a soft landing from high inflation. First, the virus has to end, bringing back workers and easing wage pressures. Then you got to do supply bottlenecks. They need to clear restocking shelves and inventory. Add fiscal stimulus has to run off and those savings from stimulus have to wind down as well. And the biggest part, the hardest thing to execute, goods purchases have to return to normal levels. Take a look at this chart. Amid the pandemic, goods purchases rocketed to nearly 41 percent of GDP, up from around 36 percent as consumers shifted away from services. Good inflation rose by an equivalent five percentage point right along with it. Joseph Lavornia of the Texas tells me the good share of GDP is going to collapse as consumer spending normalizes and goods inflation will decline with it. But several economists, while calling for lower inflation, said they were highly uncertain about their forecasts and noted several risks ahead. These are folks, by the way, who did not see it coming, mostly anyway. They include oil prices remaining high, continued high wage gains pushing up prices, creating a wage price spiral, and consumer inflation expectations continuing to rise. That could also boost inflation. So the risk is that the Fed, likely next year, will have to work harder to bring down inflation, possibly slowing the economy deliberately. But for now, when you look at market pricing, the street is optimistic that the Fed and the economy are going to stick the landing.